Hello and welcome to the Global Watch International Prayer Room. It's Friday the 12th of November, it's 5 p.m. in Jerusalem and it's Shabbat and we have our wonderful leader Ulrika to lead us through Shabbat this evening and she has some special guests with a focus on Ethiopia. So over to you Ulrika. Yes. Welcome in Shabbat Shalom. This call is aired from Hernhut. Both me and our co-hosts are from the Jesus House congregation here. Um, but this will be a joint German African Hebrew Shabbat. So I, I will start with lighting the candles and inviting the presence of the Holy Spirit to enter our and your home and our hearts to get us ready to enter his rest. Lord, you are the Lord of Shabbat, and we thank you that we can enter your your day of rest that you provide a rest for your people that we can enter in and i ask you to to fill our hearts with your shalom to to radiate your light and and fill our homes with your presence we give back to you everything that was a burden to us this week everything that even everything that we accomplished and what we succeeded we put it to your feet and we was with our tears just with 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 us being being in your presence Amen. Um, this this week uh, we cancelled uh, the general like our get together at Jesus House Congregation for Shabbat due to uh, the COVID regulations and the high incidences in our county. So it's even more of a joy to have this time together with you before we have quite a lively Shabbat around our family table with all the, the bunch of little kids. But uh, today we will take an early into a new period and the Jewish descendants That are still uh, they make it a point to really dress up for Shabbat to have like to put on their their white clothes and to uh, even with even in their very harsh circumstances um, make it a point to. And those Jewish people hate to the land. So I um, I want you to feel this kind of expectancy 
both when it comes to Shabbat and when it comes to doing up to Zion for them. Now, today I have the privilege to introduce uh, a couple to you that knows me from a long time, ever since childhood, and who sewed into my life and many, many other youngsters in Germany as they were heading the King's Kids work in Eastern Germany and built, helped build a Y1 base uh, focusing on family ministry. But for over 30 years, their heart is really knitted with Ethiopia. It was in 1992 that they went to Ethiopia for the first time and later on uh, lived in Addis Ababa managing an, a children's home from uh, 2012 to 2008. Yes, we, we are glad that we can pray together today for Ethiopia because our heart is still connected with Ethiopia and the people who, who we know and the Christians, especially in this wonderful country. Yes, since three years we are back in Germany and now Ethiopia is, we, we know this is a great nation and God has a big plan for this nation. But in this time, this country is really under attack and we want to pray and it needs prayer also from the whole world. That's why it's so good that you stay with us. And in the beginning, I would like that we can see a song. I hope it's function. This is typical Ethiopian. It's a little bit, so you see a little bit the soul of the Ethiopian heart. It's a Christian song, but in the Ethiopian culture way. And I hope you, we can take you in this country now. Thank you. Okay. Just sharing screen with you now. Thank you. And. Yes, this gives you an impression of Ethiopian culture, but also of Christians, how they worship uh, the Lord. Ethiopia is an old Christian country. Uh, now they, they are, uh, I think so, 110 million people live in this country, but there are 120 ethnic and 84 languages in this country. And especially also these numbers give you an understanding what the problems could be. But in this country, there, there are around 45% are Christians, mostly in the Ethiopian Orthodox Church, but also Pentecost and Evangelical Christians. And nearly 45% are Muslims and the other 10% in other religions. But until now, we, we could say the Christians and the Muslims, they live together in a mostly good way. But uh, in, now in this days, the main problem is, is not between the religion, it's more uh, the fight between uh, tribes and people groups. And that's why we think it's so, so important to stay on the side of our uh, brothers and sisters in Ethiopia, because they are also uh, a strong prayer uh, pe people. Also in the beginning of the new Ethiopian year, it, it was in September 11, uh, the, the Christians call for five days of praying and fasting for their country. And we think it's so, so good and so, so important and that we stand on the side of the uh, Christians in Ethiopia also with our prayers. Yes, and we have some friends there in Ethiopia, of course, 
and I would like to show you some pictures and and maybe I can say something about this before we pray. I hope it's function now. So yes, it's function. Okay, this is from the airplane. <laughs> so you see Africa here, and here's Addis Ababa. So that you have a little bit a clue. Oh. Ooh. Next. So if we start uh, uh, to come in in this country, we see this woman. And we, we met this woman and we thought, oh, how can we help this kind of woman? They did two times per day, they have to go to the mountain and bring this firewood to the rich people. And we get, we get a deep heart for them. And the Lord shows us something. So if you come to Ethiopia, you know you are in Africa, <laughs> the transport could be like this, or this is the marketplace where we buy our onion and, and the yellow is um, Lemon. lemons, yes, lim, lim, lemons, yeah. yes, and something nice things. And I know this people here at this market, but if we make some home visits, we we visit people, they live in this kind of houses. And this is a good house from them. Some people, they we know we, they live only under plastic, like the blue one here in front. But the country develop also very much. So we, we say in German often, the, the, the gap between rich and poor is so high in Ethiopia. Especially for us in as German, it's very hard to see this. And we enjoy that something some good things develop in the last years. And you know, Ethiopian is an old Orthodox country, one of the oldest Christian countries, yes. And in every poor house you see this. Pictures. pictures of Jesus and Maria. and Maria, but also Jesus. And but if you say Jesus is the way, the truth, and the love, then the Orthodox people say, "Oh, it's not so easy." They don't understand really the relationship to Jesus. And Ethiopian is famous for coffee. This is the typical Ethiopian coffee. Can, can, yes. Cook. Yes, and this coffee, this tastes very good. And they are very proud about this coffee. I would like that we could have now in our Shabbat time, really good <laughs> Ethiopian strong coffee. <laughs> tastes very good, yes. And and here I want to show you what, what we did in Ethiopia. After visit, after our first prayer visit to this country, 1992, we started to found a house of mercy, Ethiopia. And until 2018, it's written in the middle. So, and there are some different families who we sent mostly for six or seven or four years. And we work together with Ethiopian. And here down you see the Ethiopian staff group. And you see Matthias and Susie Lange in the last. And we were the last official missionaries. And because we, we give our, we hand it over, yes to the Ethiopian leadership, to Ethiopian leadership, our whole project. And we are very proud and, and glad to see that they took it and they say, yes, we want to continue what you start. And this is a very good connection with our staff. Here's one of our teacher. We, we, we start to serve the orphan and then orphan in families and we support them for schools and 
support the families. Yes. And they get some presents from time to time, you see here. And we celebrate together. Here you see the school children and the teacher again. They come to tutoring and we, we, we support them from grade one until the university. Oh yes, the picture comes later from the university. And this is a mother of such kind of child who is in our project and she has really nothing we would say nothing but if we come she share her food this is her food and she said take it take it they are so glad she has also some problems with the eyes yes and once per month we give them also a flower here's the other mother and a boy if we not support them, maybe they have to go on the street to beg, begging. But after a while, they grow up. This boy grows up from grade one. Now he is a big man. He's a teacher, yes. actually, really. Now he is a teacher. And the parents, and we celebrate with the parents. They cannot read. They can not write. And if some of, if their child graduated, they are very proud and they make a celebration like a wedding. And yes, like this girl, her mother, she's the first in the whole family line who could read. And now she graduated. In the university. Yes. But then we start also with, Disabled children, children with a disability, you see us here. Nice children, because we discovered some children were three years and they never saw the sun. The mothers tied them with in the house that nobody sees that she has a child with this handicapped, handicapped child also. So and, and they were they were a big need. And they were also not in Ethiopia and this time, no really service for them. So we start a daycare center. Yes, I'm, oh, doesn't function. Yeah, yeah. So at home, they have not much to eat. And here you see how they enjoy this good Ethiopian food injera and meat and vegetables. We have also a wood workshop and we, we train them to do something in practical ways. Here they made their own cross and they're very proud about this own cross. We have this like, yeah, our daycare center is like a school. Yes, they learn here. And they meet each other and become the best friends, <laughs> especially these two girls. Yes, oh, they're very proud. The boys. The boys. They, here in, in this house of mercy, they get some, anerkennung. yeah, something. Ulrike, anerkennung, yeah. Okay. But there are also very poor little babies or little children. Often they are malnourished. And so we start the third program to feed malnourished children. It means yeah, to help the mothers. The mothers mostly uh, comes from the countryside in the city and thinking the life is easier Often they get a baby and they are alone without father. And the children are really in need. So we have a mother child okay. program. Yes. And this mother has twins and is alone. And daily they work very long, one, one hour to come to our place to get some food and teaching and help. So it's a privilege to help the poor people.
So here we wash, they have no water at home. They have, it's very difficult also to, to have hygiene in the family. You know, they can wash the children in our compound. They get banana and bread and they are happy. Yeah. So this is my lovely <laughs> girl. <laughs> Yes, and we help also these mothers. I say often, what can you do? What, what did you learn? They cannot read mostly. They were not in the school. So they can make this with grass, this nice basket. So we train them, we teach them, we help them to start also a, a business, a small business. So these are the grandmothers. And this is our friends, because without Ethiopian uh, stuff, people, we couldn't do it. This is Tigareta, one of our best friends. She cares for the mother with the children. Here, my husband cut the cake. There is written farewell. It was a big farewell for them and for us also to finish our work and Yes, we call it home, House of Mercy, Ethiopia, as a home. And this is Tikis and Andu Alem. And if we pray, we can pray also for them. They have the responsibility and they took the responsibility for this program. And because this, our House of Mercy is long time and in a very poor area in Addis Abeba, and the government came often and say, oh, you do a great job. And we pray that really light goes out from this place. And it's happened already. Here you see the stuff. This. With children. With some, some children, children. Yeah, yes. Children. Yes. So. No, one picture more, I thought, or two picture more. Yes, these are the group of the school children, the poor children's families. They grow up. We know them very well from the beginning on. Often we are together with them for 12 years or 10 years. It's nice to see how they develop. And there's also, we, we support also a church in a very poor area. This is also Addis Abeba. Addis Abeba could be very rich and golden and nice, and it could be also like this. And we support the churches and we say to the mother, go to a church and, and meet Jesus deep in, in your heart. So, and this happened also. Yeah, so thank you. Okay, we are back. <laughs> yes, maybe we can we can make now the second song. It's more a worship song, and I like that you see the emotion of this of the church. I hope. Okay, Susanna, I'll try that now. Yes, now, and then we pray. Yeah, thank you very much, yes. I think here in this video, we see this, the heart of the Ethiopian people if they pray. They, I like it, they can pray. And I stand, how can they pray? They help, they, with their whole body and with the whole soul, they pray. And now they pray really for their country. And maybe I, I can share you short, um, the political situation. Yes, there, my husband says there are a lot of tribes and there are bigger tribes and smaller tribes. And one small tribe in the north, they, the name is Tigray, they rule over the country 26 years. Yes, they fight against the communism and they were the winner tribe mostly, yes. And so they were the ruler in Ethiopia. 
until 2018. 2018. Yes. And and now, now there is a new premier minister, and his name is you can say it. Dr. Abi Ahmed. Dr. Abi Ahmed. He get the um, Friedens Nobel Prize. What is this? Peace Nobel Prize. <laughs> yes, because he, he changed a lot in this country. And he say not only one tribe has to rule over the other and, and oppress the other, other parts. He say, let us be one country with different tribes, yes, but let us feel we are really one nation. And every tribe has the same right. Yeah, yes. and doc, Dr. Abi is a special person because he is a, a Romo from the a Romo tribe. And uh, his parents come from different tribes and also from different religions background. And so in, in his person, he makes something in, in, in one in his person. And he, for himself, he is a, a, a Christian, not an Orthodox Christian, he is a believer. And when he speaks, sometimes I say, he speaks like a preacher. And, and also, if you see his face, you see there is Jesus in him. Yes, and he he developed a lot of things. We we experienced this. We we experienced the last uh, years of the Tigray, and now the beginning of him. And since he is um, in the since he is the pr Premier Minister, um, the the country developed. There is more more freedom. We we feel it very very deep in our heart and we were very happy about him and also the people normally in the city if you ask them about dr abby yes he is a good man he he brings us together he brings peace and everything but the problem is that the tigre uh, tribe they they rule 26 years and they they get a lot of money and they put all the money and also some military things in their own um, region. And they were often in America, they have also um, money there and they're very rich also, especially in the uproad. And, and this tribe want back his authority, his own authority over the whole country. They say, oh, this, but we, what we understand and see also Dr. Abi is very good to them. He not depress them. He say, but, but let us work together from every tribe, people in the government and stay, try to make a democracy. It's not so easy in Africa, but he wants really to do it. But the Tigray now want destroy this country and they start again and they they fighting. fighting against dr abby and now now is this problem since one year they fight with each with each other no, it's yes and since some days some days before the ethiopian government uh, call out the state of emergency because of this situation. And that's, that's why it's so, so important to, to pray for, for the government of Ethiopia that they make good decisions. Uh, but, but also uh, we, we can pray that, uh, yeah, the, the communication, the international media will be uh, more clear, not only on one side, uh, be, because it's 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 mostly what what we hear here in, in Europe. It's only the the view of one side, and so, so it's it's important not to believe all things what we see in the media, 
also to look on God and pray for this country, pray for the government, pray for the people, that they live together in, in, in unity. Also, if they came from different tribes, that they can live together, that they accept one another. And also this starts with the Christians, that the Christians uh, uh, accept one another. Also the, the Orthodox Christians and the uh, Pente, how, how they call there, the evangelical Christians, that they accept one another and stand together and be an example for the whole country. Yes, yes, we, we understood if we were there, tribalism is really a, a very bad thing. It, it destroy Africa's country always. And Ethiopia is, is, is a little bit the head of the African. If Ethiopia comes back to the tribalism, then it's, it's also for the other country very bad. So, and tribal, tribalism is against this, was, what Dr. Abi want and what the government now want. And we think also the churches, we were also in a big um, English speaking church and they always pray against this tribalism. And they say, we don't have to feed the spirit of tribalism. More, more this unity and also yeah, unity and oneness in the church over the tribes for this country. And our home, how home stuff, they are also from different tribes and we teach them always the Bible and we pray together and we experience it's possible to be in oneness. Yes. Now we can pray. Shall we pray? Oh, but that would be great. Yeah, w would you like to start us off and then we'll jump in and join you? Yes, good. Father God, we come to you to stand together for Ethiopia, yes. especially if we, we find also Ethiopia, it's about writ written in the Bible in Psalm 68, that Ethiopia will stretch out their hands to you and we will do it together with our Ethiopian brothers and sisters, stretch out our hands for their country. Lord, we, we bless Ethiopia and we proclaim your love and your victory about this country. Yes. Yes, Lord, and we see there is a really dark attack against this country, Lord, and we know you love this country, and you set your um, church there in this country, that they pray, and they pray, and we want to pray with them together, the whole world, we want to pray that, and we know the victory is yours, and Lord, you hear the prayer of this people who cry for for help and for for peace in this country and we we pray that every false false information uh, could be stopped and that the truth comes through and and that your rulership be clear over this country amen Yes, I would like to pray for the government. Uh, I, would you write, I would you like to read from Proverbs 29, uh, verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when a wicked man rules, the people grow. So, Father, we bring uh, the government of uh, Ethiopia before you. Father, we do pray, Father, for righteous government, Father. In Yeshua's name, Father, we pray that we remove those with a wicked agenda and selfish agenda, Father. In Yeshua's name, we pray that you raise up men and women in the government, Father, that we will have your agenda in your heart for Ethiopia, Father. In Yeshua's name, we pray, Father, that Ethiopia will fulfill her destiny, Father. 
in Yeshua's name. We bless these nations, Father. We pray for, we thank you for all the prayer meetings that uh, we are having in the last few months for Ethiopia, Father. We thank you for that your heart is there, that we're watching everything. When you thank you for your redemption, Father, in Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. Father, we come against the spirit of war that is over the tribes in the name of Jesus. And we release peace, the peace that passes all understanding, that the tribal leaders, those that have authority, those that have the respect of the people, will be convicted of the wrongness of tribal war. We ask, Father, for your blessing upon those who seek peace and that the people around them will see your blessing and that they will know that Jesus is Lord. They will know the Prince of Peace. We just release in the name of Jesus, the spirit of peace and hope and love and joy over the country of Ethiopia. In the name of Jesus, amen. Yes, Lord, and Father, we I just unity um, together from all the nations and we are not allowing in the name of Jesus that the war is arising in this country. And we say peace and shalom over this country because we, as it says in uh, Psalm 124, that our help comes in the name of the Lord who created the heaven and the earth. And we are not falling into the trap because you are our protector. And in Psalm 91, that even thousands are uh, falling apart. We, it won't harm us. It won't harm Ethiopia. It won't harm the president. And we ask for protection for this president. His name again. Um, and especially that the Tigray people stand back. So I want to ask that he is going to draw to you that he is asking you for help, that he is stretching out his faith and prayers to you, that Abi Ahmed is really crying out to you and asking and expecting the help from you in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, who were over this country, who were over those people who are so compassionate to you and let and revive Ethiopia. We, we call out, Ethiopia shall be saved. In Jesus' name, amen. Lord, I just thank you for the report from Israel that um, the Immigration Absorption Minister has uh, agreed to speed up the immigration of 5,000 more Ethiopians claiming Jewish descent. Lord, we just say thank you that they are under the um, agreement that allowed 9,000 to come into, into Israel. So we just say thank you for that, that, that those who want to make Aliyah will end up being able to be back together with their families in, in Israel as well, Lord. So we just say thank you for that. And I pray that it goes smoothly and that there will be no problems in Ethiopia itself as they want to leave. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I pray at this time, Lord, I'm remembering this first, let Ethiopian stretch out, out its hands to God. That was 68 that was read, Lord God, oh, Father God, at this time that many would recognize that you are their hope. Father God, we just lived we ask your, your mercy on many to come to know you in these tribes, Lord, that they'd be a breakthrough, Lord, to know Yeshua and, and this tribe that's causing all the trouble. Uh, Lord God, we ask your mercy on them too, that they would know Yeshua and peace, that they would see, know your love, Father God. And we ask for provisions, Lord. There's so much hunger in the land now, Lord God. We just ask your help, Lord, to the many hurting at this time, that they would know that you're there, that you're their provider, you're their refuge, you're, you're their, their, their life, and to know you in Yeshua's name. Amen. Father, we know that you are the Prince of Peace, that there is no real peace without you. And so, Father, we thank you for the video where we could see the people worshiping you in spirit and in truth from the depths of their hearts, Lord God. 
And we pray that all those who think they know you, but have not yet entered into your peace, into your rest, would come to know you from the inside out, that you would apprehend their hearts too. We pray, Father God, that it's your peace that will bring peace. And so we bless Ethiopia with the Prince of Peace, in the name of Yeshua. Amen. Father, we ask for the bind binding of the religious spirit, whether it's um, tribal or even within the uh, within your church, your body, that any any measure of spousing religious spirit, Father, we ask that you would break it off this nation, Lord. We ask that uh, whether um, that the heart of those who proclaim your name would be fully engaged, just like we saw in that video, Lord, that they, that all all will be fully engaged in body, soul, and spirit to love you in truth and in spirit. Lord, we bless them. We bless all those who proclaim your name to enter into that kind of a worship and, uh, and a love and a fellowship with you, Holy Spirit, that any spirit, any religious spirit will be broken off the nation as a whole. We agree, we come into agreement with all the prayers that have been going forth uh, in this season from the body of Christ in Ethiopia. We agree with all the prayers that their nation would be set free, that their nation would become um, a light in, in the continent, Lord, um, and an open gate for the gospel to spread uh, into every nation. We bless Ethiopia, Lord. We bless this nation um, to carry your image, your heart, um, and your word uh, into the other nations in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, if we were in Ethiopia, this would go on for two, three, four, five hours, but we are conscious about your time and uh, your, your schedule. That is why I want to conclude this part and ask um, and We'll have a combined kiddush, uh, kiddush and communion service at the end. So if you have your elements prepared. And we will, we will do the, we will do the order. It, as Jesus uh, said for the, yeah, at the Last Supper. Our halot. He froze. I think, yeah, I think she's frozen. Yeah. And so, and God blessed the seventh day and made it holy because on it he rested from all the work of creating that he had done. Baruchada Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Hamot Selechem in Haaret. Amen. Amen. And I call forth to Katya to pray over the, the bread uh, for, the, for the Lord's Supper. Mm. Jesus, we thank you that you gave yourself for us, for all people. We thank you for your blood and your body. And Lord, I remember the day I was saved as if it was yesterday. And I cannot thank you enough. Mm -hmm. We thank you, Lord. It's not, let it be always fresh. Let it be always real to us what you've done for us. Jesus said to them, I tell you the truth. Unless you can eat the flesh of the son of man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life. And I will raise him up on the last day. For my flesh is real food and my blood is real drink. Lord, and we ask you to bless this bread 
as your body broken for us. And we believe what you said, that we have eternal life because of you. And we take this because you told us to do it, Lord. And Lord, we also pray that in Ethiopia, where there's a lack of food and drink, they will find you, Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach, as the real bread of life. Thank you. Bless this bread, bless this body that you broke for us, and help us to always remember it. This bread never grows stale. Amen. We give the mic to Joe in South Africa to pray the uh, blessing or the prayer for the wine that Jan is going to bless the cup. Amen. Amen. That's lovely. I just want to read from Matthew um, 26, uh, from verse 26. Oh, sorry, 27. Then he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them, um, saying, drink from it, all of you. For this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. But I say to you, I will not drink of this fruit of the vine from now on until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. Yes, Lord, we just say thank you. Thank you for the, your blood being spilt out on the cross of Calvary, Lord. We just say thank you for all that you have done for us, that we can have forgiveness of sin because of, of your blood shed for us. And Lord, we just bless this cup to our bodies lord even as we take it in remembrance of what you did for us and we bless uh, ethiopia too as they uh, as as they come into alignment with knowing you as savior and lord and we just pray for each person on this call that that they will take um this uh, this cup uh, to be able to um have the things which you gave for us, Lord, and we thank you, Jesus. Amen. Jovenice, are you? Are you active on this call? Can you unmute yourself? Yes, I am. Uh, where are you calling from? I stay in, Nair in Nairobi, Kenya, but I'm from Uganda. So as a representative of the African body, I want you to close us off in prayer oh. and send us into into Shabbat mode. Okay, I will. Lord God, we want to thank you. We want to thank you, Lord, for choosing us as Gentiles. We want to thank you, Lord, for your son, Jesus Christ, who came to unite us with you, to reconcile us, oh Lord, to make the one new man reconcile, bring Jews together with the Gentiles. Lord God, we want to thank you for the price he paid. We want to thank you, Lord, for offering his body and his blood to cleanse us all or to wash our sins away, Lord. We want to thank you, Lord, for what we have learned about Ethiopia. We want to thank you for the zeal that they have in worshiping you, in honoring you, Lord. And Lord God, we pray that you indeed keep them motivated you meet their needs, that they will not slacken, that they will not slow down in worshiping you, Lord. 
We pray, Lord, that you look at them with mercy, that you fill them with your spirit, that whatever they know, Lord, your, your spirit will guide them on how to worship you, that he will lead them into all truth. And we even pray for the situation there, Lord, that you'll bring it down, oh Lord. You are the man of war who fights for us. We thank you for the continent of Africa. We thank you for Egypt, Sudan. We thank you, Lord, for all the countries in Africa that align with you, Lord. And Lord, we pray that they'll come to know you, Lord Jesus, as the Messiah. We know that most of the Northern African countries do not know you, Lord. Lord God, we pray that your spirit will move across the continent of Africa, that people will come to know you and worship you. We pray against the ancestral worship. We pray against the witchcraft that is rampant, that, Lord, they come to know that you are the almighty God who created us, O oh Lord. And you said that your name will be praised up to the ends of the earth. And Lord God, we pray that you use us in Africa, Lord, and the rest of the world. Lord, that you, your spirit will move across the nations, that we'd be one new man with Israel as we wait for your coming back. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Just before we um, say Shabbat Shalom, um, I'd like to just pray a quick blessing over um, Susanna and Matthias um, for what they've brought to us today. And I noticed that um, we didn't pray for the House of Mercy, which they asked us to. So um, I'll just pray for that and then pray a blessing over them. So, Father, we just thank you for the work that Susanna and Matthias have done. Uh, and especially, Lord, we bless the work of the home, the House of Mercy in Ethiopia. And we pray a blessing on the staff that they've handed over to, Lord. May they prosper, may they know your favour, and may the ministry prosper under your direction. And Matthias and Susanna, we bless you in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. May you continue to know his presence with you daily. May you know your, his fullness in your lives as you go forward with him. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, guys, you know what we do now, don't you? Unmute yeah, and Shabbat Shalom. 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 Shabbat Shalom.